Hello everyone listening and welcome to Regtech Live with Clause Match. The aim of these sessions is to provide you with a 10 minute live discussion around technology and compliance, speaking with leading industry experts every Thursday lunchtime. Today, I'm joined by Shiran Weitzman, the CEO and co-founder of Shield, where we'll be discussing the challenges and opportunities in communications compliance and surveillance. Shiran, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Would you mind giving us an introduction to yourself and your business, Shield? Sure, sure. Thank you very much for having me, Freddie, and thank you, Klausmatch, for all this uh, wonderful uh, platform. Uh, so my name is uh, Shiran Weitzman. I am the uh, co-founder and uh, CEO of Shield Financial Compliance. Uh, Shield is an Israeli Rectech startup uh, with a mission to redefine the way that firms manage and mitigate risks and insight from human conversation. In an essence, what we do is uh, providing or Shield is an end-to-end -end electronic communication platform that enables firms to automate and orchestrate and surveil their electronic communicate, the complete electronic communication lifecycle end-to-end so from capture up to surveillance and collaboration. And we're doing it across any channels and any, uh, any relevant uh, uh, regulation. So in a nutshell, we basically manage and, and analyze the entire a trading and back office, all trading related communication in order to detect potential financial crime or any risks that uh, uh, may come out of it and help the firms to be able to comply with financial regulation. Brilliant. This yeah. is a relevant topic right now. <laughs> no, definitely. The first thing I want to touch on then is understanding what are your observations in general with this current situation and then It'd be also interesting to understand what your thoughts are on the current situation, maybe in the lens of a compliance officer. Well, it's a it's a it's a, it's a brilliant topic, and it's a burning a burning situation currently. Look, the, we we are in a we are in an era where you know this communication is becoming normal, right? To have a Zoom call or to have any sort of uh, electronic communication is happening more and more regardless of any pandemic or any, any challenge uh, in the market. So what's happening now is emphasizing it 10 times, right? Because we're starting to see people basically like you and me trying to be productive and trying to work as much as possible. So for that, they're using whatever channels they can have. For traders, they are trying to, that's relevant for traders as well. So they are trying to stay on top of a very volatile market and, you know, to do as much as they can to, to do their job, right? For compliance, this is a nightmare. This situation is a nightmare. There is a, 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 a you, you, have a, you have a situation now where traders are trading billions of dollars and pounds and a, a whatever currency, a, and they're shifting it from their kitchen and from their bedrooms. <laughs> and with no ability for, uh, uh, for compliance officer to walk on the floor, or to listen to conversation and to be, you know, I'm not talking about policing, but to be, to be there and to supervise and to, uh, to have the, uh, you know, to, to, to guard and to instruct and to do their job. And uh, emphasize that with additional channels that are being introduced now in order for the people to be productive. Uh, that's a huge challenge and a risk. And this risk is also being emphasized by the regulators now, especially the FCA, have issued this very strict uh, a, a warning to uh, because of this situation for either insider trading or market abuse. So that just happened in the recent days. So yeah, this is uh, this is the current challenge again. It's it's not it's new in terms of uh, in terms of this uh, uh, coronavirus situation, but people are using technology and digital communication in order to do their work and to, do, to be productive. Uh, recently, I, uh, I, I read an article from, uh, or a, an announcement or an interview with the uh, Barclays CEO who says, we don't necessarily need this big building in Canary anymore. We might need to shift our employees to work because the productivity of these 7,000 people from the big office on Canary Wharf was actually the same. So, that's also shifting and changing and making this entire virtual work and uh, virtual workplace to a very, uh, very center, uh, uh, um, very centerpiece in their, uh, in their, in everyone's ability to, uh, to do their job. This is why digital compliance or digital monitoring and surveillance is so critical in these days. So 
yeah, I completely agree. The challenge <laughs> is there. The challenge is always there, but the current situation is going to exacerbate these challenges. Um, people are uh, no longer under one roof. They're now in a distributed business model where the compliance officer has to try and supervise or have oversight of this activity. So in terms of that, it's, I understand all of these challenges. What does that look, to, look like as a long-term challenge? Are we expecting fines in the future? Are there going to be other sort of key challenges that arise? Well, I think that, um, again, as, as this, uh, this situation is emphasizing the, uh, the requirement for any firm to have a proper BCP, a uh, business continuity plan, it also emphasized for them, and it was there all, 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 uh, all along to have a proper a proper surveillance or a proper monitoring uh, capabilities and monitoring plan. And that will be emphasized. It, the requirements are there and has been there from, you know, 2016, but now it's kind of scaled, right? This, it's scaled. It's in, it, and, and I believe that it will be enforced more and more. At least the regulators are saying that. And, um, and, um, Again, I'm not making any assumptions here, but uh, um, the nature of people is to make things done, right? Uh, people want to make things done. So does the traders, and they have a specific uh, aspiration to be, uh, you know, to, to complete the trade and to be as profitable as possible. If that means that they are picking their mobile phone and taking a call or writing to their customer in Telegram because there is no, it's a better way or it's a faster way for them, and it's not compliant, then the, the firms have a challenge and the firms will be will have to deal with that. So my personal uh, uh, forecast is that post this corona or towards end of this year and beginning of next year, we will see several major investigations around this domain. Just think about it. The, the rigging of the Forex took place in no pandemia, nothing, uh, nothing whatsoever. Now everyone are working from home. I'm not making any assumptions, but just imagine what can happen. And I guess with all of these challenges in mind, um, traditional responses to these challenges, uh, whether that's um, the basic email uh, surveillance or what people um, traditionally would do is walk across the, um, the trading floors and just show their presence. I don't think this is really gonna cut it. What's the current uh, technology landscape look like in the area of RegTech to solve the challenges we've just discussed? So, you, so you're absolutely right. What we have seen so far is kind of siloed solution here and then, a little bit voice uh, analytics, uh, emails, uh, email capture and, and uh, lexicon or keyword, uh, keyword uh, uh, alerts. Not good enough, a lot, of false, a lot of false alert as well, but it's not good enough and it's not covering everything. So you cannot have multiple platforms and multiple uh, siloed uh, analytics uh, solution here and then. Mm -hmm. uh, what we see as coming, and, what we are dealing with and spending a lot of money and time on it is to try to push all these silos or all this data into one big data and in one big machine and run very advanced AI or NLP capabilities in order to correlate and in order to bring together the relevant pieces and bring to the compliance officer more accurate information combined holistically, uh, holistically um, um, bring together all the relevant data so they can take decision, not to look on different, uh, uh, on different uh, uh, screens, but to look on one place and get all their information from there, on one side. On the other side, this system needs to be able to easily add new channels. So if now we are communicating in Zoom, I need to be able to capture this. If I'm tomorrow morning wants to allow my traders, because imagine or not, a, a WhatsApp is, a, is the business continuity plan for some of the big banks. It is. They are switching their employees to work in WhatsApp if, uh, if their uh, their icon or uh, terminals, uh, terminals are down uh, or they don't have access to it. So you need to be able to capture this capability or allow them to do something else. And, um, and, and your surveillance tool or your monitoring capabilities need to be able to easily absorb these new channels and to be able to quickly adapt and to trigger the relevant alert or to mask 
non-relevant information because think about it uh, also on the other hand when we are involving a lot of social media all this whatsapp and uh, a lot of you know linkedin and uh, twitter and and uh, and uh, a lot of different channels also teams and sky for business and all the all the internal uh, all the chat communications there is a lot of you know chit chat and small talks there. there there is a lot of i need to we, we cannot allow that these new channels will bring a lot of alerts or will create a lot of white noise, we call it. Uh, therefore, you need to be smart and you need to uh, be able to apply these advanced technologies that I described before and to be able to do it in a, in, you know, algorithmic, uh, uh, algorithmic accurate way, I would say. Thank you. Yeah. This is this AI thing that everyone are talking about. It's here. <laughs> I completely agree. I mean, when applied in the right way, it's here to help for sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you again, Shiran, for joining us today for this short um, and sweet conversation. It's been super insightful. And I know everyone listening is going to find it very useful as it's a very relevant topic. Um, we'll be running these uh, conversations every Thursday. Um, join us next uh, Thursday at 1 p.m. Uh, make sure you tune in. But until then, take care. Thanks. Thank you very much.